The following video is going to show you how to do some of the stuff in PowerPoint that we do for our um, EDN 303 class. First thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to create a multiple choice quiz. So I've created three slides here. Um, one is going to be my question. One will be my correct answer. And one will be my incorrect answer. I'm going to create my question. What color is grass? Assume healthy grass. So answers could be, let's say, green, blue, red, orange. Obviously healthy grass is green. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the answer green. I'm going to highlight it. And now this is going to be different depending on what version of PowerPoint you're using, you're using a Mac or a PC. So it's going to be different on each of your computers. So I can't make 10 versions of this video, but about 99% of it is exactly the same. I'm going to select the color. I'm going to go to insert hyperlink, insert hyperlink. Um, and what I'm going to do is I am actually going to choose what I want to do. You can see on the Mac I have a choice of a web page, document, or email address. I want to put this in our current document, in the document. So I'm going to click document, and I'm going to click select. And what I'm actually going to do, it's, it was actually the locate button right down here. I'm going to click locate. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to find my slide, and I'm going to put it to correct answer. Click OK. You can see a hyperlink was formed. For each of the wrong answers, I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to link each of them to the incorrect. Hyperlink, locate, incorrect. And I would do that for each one of them. I'm obviously not going to do that. That's it. That's how you create a multiple choice question. Um, because if I play this right now, what color is grass? If I select the right answer, it goes to correct. If I select the wrong answer, it goes to incorrect. And what I do is I just keep repeating that. And then on the correct slide, I could have a you know great job. Click here to go to the next slide kind of thing. And essentially, I can keep using this pattern of creating these hyperlinks to navigate from slide 1 to slide 10 if I wanted to. All right, next thing, how to create a button. Same exact thing as creating a link. I go to insert, and I'm going to create an actual shape. And I can do things like select an arrow to go to the next slide. And there we go. On my quiz question, I have a button, but I got to create an action for it. So I'm going to select it, insert, hyperlink, and same thing. I'm going to make it go to this will go to the correct question. So now when I play my movie, notice when I select over the arrow, a hand comes up and if I click it, it goes to the correct question. Now, here's a little disadvantage of this. Right now, if I click anywhere on the screen, notice how it's going to the correct answer. Well, I don't want that to happen. I want the user to have to click one of my answers or a button to go to the next screen. So what do I do? I simply click Transitions, and this little advanced slide on mouse click, you can see it up here. I'm going to uncheck that for this slide. Now you're going to want to do this for all the slides of your presentation. Now if I play this video, look, I can click on the screen and nothing happens. It forces me to have to click one of these links to actually go to the next slide. Now you do have to do that for every single slide because it only works for one. Notice how it's still checked right here, but if I go to the first one, it is not checked. So that's transitions, and it's an on-mouse click. All right, um, those are the main things for your project, the hardest things you're going to encounter. So I just wanted to quickly review them and show them.